How to use the dollar breakout scan to find opportunities during the day and for swing trading is what we'll look at in this video. Let's first try and understand what this dollar breakout scan is really trying to do. It, basically there are two components to it which is like basically it is trying to find a stock which is either up 90 cents or down 90 cents and volume is about 100,000. So if you want two separate scans you can create it as bullish uh, it's about 90 cents like C minus O so if like say close is 100 and the open was 95 then the stock is up 9 uh, stock is up 5 points and that will satisfy your condition similarly O minus C is greater than 90 so, so open was 100 and close now is 95 so the stock is down 5 dollars it will satisfy your condition and for IntelliChart in order to sort you need to create a column like say this is a column which is a dollar column what that column gives you is this particular stock ISRG C minus O was up 8.85 and this particular stock price line was down 33 dollars from its open so that's really what this column will give you basically it will quickly allow you to sort so to set up this you can either use one single uh, scan the benefit of using one single scan is very clear that like uh, in the morning and this scan is very useful in the first half an hour or like up to first 45 minutes is that what you're looking at is a stock which is like broken out dollar plus and it's also got a volume because the condition you can get a lot of stocks which are up 90 cents or like down 90 cents but if they don't have enough volume that's not the candidate which you're looking at because primarily what you're trying to do with this kind of a scan is to find a stock with a significant momentum for that particular day okay now that's important that's why you don't need to put in a lot many other conditions because for that particular day at that particular hour this is the stock which has that high momentum and because you're using a threshold of like say 90 cents or something like that uh, you're basically looking for a stock which is high priced and has a significant momentum say let's look at a price line supposing the stock uh, uh, the stock showed up in the first half an hour uh, of that now if you look at a lower time frame what you'll see is that after it showed up it spent considerable amount of time going down and ha in the meanwhile having orderly uh, counter trend rallies which failed orderly counter trend rallies up to three bars which failed so that's really what you're looking at or like if you look at LGND and if you look at this on a uh, daily chart what you'll see is like it was down significantly now for that particular day what you can see is for that particular day the stock has an orderly waterfall kind of a decline declined uh, in the first one hour or half an hour you'd have identified this stock because it was down around three or four dollars uh, then set up failed set up failed set up failed and then there was a finally a counter trend rally so this is what you are really looking at for that particular day a stocks which has a great movement and if you can identify this kind of a stock right in the first 15 minutes or 10 minutes then you know what to do with it so that's one use of this particular scan and it can work on both sides long side like say you identify a stock like this which is a lower price stocks but like and it came in on your scan because it was already up 3.5 by uh, in the first half an hour now if you see this particular stock what happened after that is what you'll see is that particular stock kept on going up and see here stock is already up in the first half an hour itself if you see stock is up almost like one dollar right and then it will come and volume is also there orderly setup from which there is a breakout and this breakout leads to five dollars move okay so you just need to find a couple of these in a day if you're looking at or like focus only on three or four which show up the first because why do you need to focus on the one which are show up uh, in the f first half an hour uh, 20 minutes or 15 minutes it's like they are the one which are, have the highest momentum now if you add more criteria to it it will complicate your life because you are looking at for that particular day or that particular next two hours or one hour which stock has the greatest momentum and that the scan tries to do and it will give you those candidate in the morning in the morning so it's a very simple thing basically in terms of setting up you just need to set up that particular scan as I showed you um, and then set up a column if you want separately you can set up separately the reason why I don't use it separately is early in the morning when you're running this scan 
okay you start getting candidate now you'll have to toggle between two scans you'll have to look at a bullish scan you'll have to look at a bearish scan also like if you have a combined scan in one scan itself in the morning if you see like in a 10 uh, stocks which are down and only one or two are up it tells you something about the market and where you should be focusing your attention because it tells you that you look and there is distribution happening in the market or the market is weak as against that if you get say 30 stocks up or you get like an anomaly you get only 10 or 20 stocks in the first 15 20 minutes or 30 stocks and you get like in 100 stocks up it tells you there's a significant buying in the market so that's other way of looking at it now that is for something who is doing short-term trading but this same scan can be used for swing trading because ultimately you'll use looking at the same phenomena that we look at in a four person breakout that is that range expansion stock has a range expansion this stock had a range expansion that was only 1.89 percent here like if you see like this particular stock in a larger context okay this stock has a range expansion here it's a breakout right and it was only 1.89 percent breakout it will not show up in a four percent scan but the stock went up after that and made 24 dollars move so it allows you to find stocks with a lower threshold of breakout so if you get a lower threshold of breakout you can put in more money into them so you can use it as an intraday and after that you use it as a swing trade at the end of the day or in the afternoon at around two o'clock three o'clock you can run the scan again and go through the candidate looking at like say if we will look at the first hundred to see if there is a good candidate or a for swing trade like say a stock like this at this stage is a good candidate for swing trade because orderly pull back here a little bit of move and it makes a move different thing that it was running into earnings so that's a different uh, phenomena altogether but like say uh, but at this on this day it was breaking out only 1.59 percent okay so it is not going to show up in your other breakout scan so this is a complementary scan to other breakout scan which we are using now if you go through looking at it from a short term trading which is one hour two hour or like uh, intraday kind of a move versus looking at it as a swing trade and let's look at it as a swing trade and now we go through this scan candidates to look at like can we find a swing trade where there is a similar kind of a breakout and the stock is setting up uh, and that can be bought for a multiple day move so that's another way of using this particular scan and i'll go through around 100 to see if we can find one good candidate for a swing trade and that becomes your candidate for swing trade also so it can be used both for swing trading as well as for short term intraday kind of moves now one of the advantage of adding this scan to your arsenal is that especially when you have larger capital to trade with uh, the four percent breakout or the breakout scan which we use will give you the smaller cap much better because smaller caps are low more volatility when they move they move big while a larger cap stock or a larger stock is not going to make that much amount of a move or many high price stocks will break out with a smaller move and they can still go on and make a big move so if we keep going down to look for a swing trade what we look for in a swing trade in terms of a momentum burst kind of a candidate then we'll use this scan to find those also at the end of the day so this is not a scan only for day traders or looking at short term this is also very useful star scan for those who are looking for swing trades and especially those who have a larger capital to trade because those who have larger capital understand it very clearly their problem their problem is most of the time yes i can find a small stock but then to make a meaningful difference to the account you'll have to buy so much of that small stock that it's one is there is limitation in terms of like um, if a stock is trading only 100,000, then you try and buy 10,000 of that, it's going to create a problem for you. So those are some of the issues which can be eliminated or you can get into some of the very good candidate using this particular uh, scan for swing trading also. But it cannot be a standalone scan. You have to use it along with our four person scan because four person scan does a good job of getting you small caps this scan does a better job of getting you uh, some of the uh, higher price stocks and if you even though you see 400 candidate here in the morning you don't get 400 candidate in the morning you're only getting 10 or 20 candidate and those are the one which you're looking at and uh, 
the questions which people are should i be putting rsi to this i should i be putting that to it uh, i don't know why you need to put that because what is your object your object is to find for that particular hour or for that particular next two hours or for that particular day a stock with a significant momentum and that can happen irrespective of whether the stock is has a rsi of 70 or it has an rsi or whether it is a 4 ema or whatever it is it doesn't matter because the stock for that particular day for whatever reason either it has a news or it has like some upgrade or it is just the sector breaking out or whatever reason has got significant momentum and if you put lot of other criteria as to it like say this can be a cried but it's already a 4% breakout also uh, if you add lot of criteria as to this can saying you oh, this should be like this and this should be like this what it is going to do is uh, it is not going to achieve the intended purpose of the scan which is basically to find stocks early in the morning which are breaking out with a significant volume comparatively relatively and also having a significant momentum and what you are betting on is that which is a true tendency of the market which is basically stocks move in the direction of range expansion so here is a possible candidate it's more looks like a pullback candidate but here like and i say stock is only up 1.50% but like if it gets going you're looking at 125 so you can risk a small amount and look at it or like say here stock wasn't up 4% it was up only 2.73% but it will show up in a scan so you can use it for swing trade also for swing trades you get lot many candidate to look at because uh, it just is looking at without much of a filter a stock which is up uh, for $1 plus or 90 cent plus and has 100000 volume so in short this is a very good scan to find a stock which has significant momentum and you can find that very early in the morning which is like basically uh, you'll find some stocks hit the scan within the first 5 minutes of the open and those are the stocks if a stock is up $3 and it has significant volume by the time uh, relative volume then uh, you can use that to predict or like to think that this stock which is up $3 has the potential to go another $3 or $2 or $4 and then you are not blindly buying it you are waiting for a setup to develop on that particular stock to buy it and that's really what you can use this can for obviously it's not for working people it's not for uh, it is for working people in the sense if you use it as a swing trade kind of a thing at the end of the day uh, in fact and it will get you much better entries than 4% breakout because there is much more slippage on a 4% breakout many times the smaller cap will break out they don't only break out with 4% they break out with 8 10% so your stop is much wider while this breaks out then it breaks out with a lower threshold because these are stocks many of them they are like higher priced and they don't necessarily break out with 4% breakout so that's the use of this particular scan and uh, i would suggest that don't put too many filters don't put too many conditions uh, it's easy once you get a hang of it like after few days you will become very comfortable once you start running it you get only 5 10 20 candidates in the morning and you can like and uh, discount many of them immediately looking at like where they are in their uh, trend or where they are in their momentum cycle now see we didn't find anything on the long side which was a swing trade kind of a thing now we moved into looking at the short side and you might end up finding a short side because the market uh, in respect of the fact that it tried to recover later was basically down for the day in terms of breadth so the 200 plus stocks which were down 4% so uh, more probability of finding a short setup than a long setup in a market where the breadth was weak yesterday so this is very very simple simplest can which you can run and then there is some amount of elbow grease is involved to find a good candidate the advantage is once in a while or like every alternate day come time you find a candidate which is like an adjust breaks out in the first half one hour sets a uh, first half an hour sets up very well and keeps going 10 dollar 20 dollar sometimes 15 20 dollars throughout the day and that's what you're looking at basically using this particular scan so think about it and add it to your arsenal and then you'll find that you can find some kind of short term trades and you can also use it for swing trading because for swing trading also it will get you into stocks which are basically breaking out but they are not breaking out with a 4% record they are breaking out a dollar plus but they are not breaking out with a 4% kind of a 
a breakout and it's also efficient in terms of like you can do all your watch list you can do all other things but there is some catalyst which comes in the news or anything and that leads to a breakout and some of them are big breakouts and if you see like this particular stock now stx it will not show up in a poor person scan right is this a good sh swing setup for a short yes because it's like in a counter trend rally stock is in a downtrend downtrend for almost like a year or seven or eight months and then like rallied now this failed but it will not show up in a poor person scan because the stock was up only down was only 3.57 percent it's a high price stock so that's like an if it say if it visits this particular thing it's a five dollars move supposing here you look at shorting it and like and it goes to this particular level where you think there is support still it is a five dollar trade so that's uh, the kind of candidate which you can find if you go through this particular scan looking at it from a perspective of swing trade as against looking at it from a short term trade when short term trades it's really a question of like and you know, your ability to look at many candidate like you can get many candidate like if you're really hardcore short, uh, short term trader or day trader you can find like an you know, 20 candidate in a day using this particular scan like even this can be a probable uh, shot like say down only 2% right and uh, and it's a continuation kind of a downtrend stock is in a downtrend okay so that's uh, one which you can find as a swing trade you can always like and if in the first cut you find candidate then you can always reduce that universe further to look at other things or this fmc this is a short candidate right it will not show up in your four person scan why because it's down only three dollar 46 right so those are some of the things which you can find using this particular scan which is a complementary scan in my book to four percent breakout and especially useful for people who have a larger account and they want to look at like an you know, stocks which are like higher priced and which break out with a lower threshold because breakout is basically is not doesn't have to be four percent breakout can be a lower threshold breakout if a stock is coiling and uh, the, its last five days moves were less than one percent if it goes down or up today one more than one percent it goes up like say 1.5 percent that still is a valid breakout and that is a very good breakout compared to a four percent breakout which is up 20 percent why because in that particular breakout you can like put in more capital and uh, your stop will be very close so those are some of the benefits of using this particular scan so let's go through this anyway we reached around 383 so i, I might as well see like this here also like uh, it was a down only one dollar 24 but like uh, that was a swing point basically stock is on downtrend right and it's a counter trend move and the counter trend move was failing so Set up the scan, go through this, see like in the first half an hour what candidates show up or first 15 20 minutes, and then see if you can identify a candidate. Watch it for like any, you don't have to start trading immediately. That uh, watch it to see how it behaved through the day. Uh, look at like any sorting at the end of the day this thing by the dollar uh, thing which I gave you, and then look at the stocks which made a big down or up move 30 dollar up or 30 dollar down or 10 dollar up and all and see where like it is like same thing as anticipation setup during the day it sets up the only problem is you have to pay attention because that particular five minutes if you miss uh, you miss the opportunity so it requires certain amount of uh, focus which is not everybody's cup of tea because it requires tremendous focus it might require you to watch eight or ten stocks on charts five minutes chart to see, uh, see this is down 2.95 might be a continuation move um, to see that you're watching the right kind of stock which are up in the first half an hour or one hour with significant uh, momentum and then they are likely to go down during the day so there's not much if you look at it only like you had three candidate which were probable candidate for a swing trade based on this scan but it is still useful for swing trading today is one of those days you may not find many but sometimes you find so your walmart your fmc and i think there was stx out of that stx looks the best 
according to me for a short sell like you short sell put in a stop at around 51 uh, or wherever this thing is uh, higher this and your entry is 49.60 and if it works you're looking at 45 probably as the target for this so i hope that explains your questions about uh, this particular thing and dollar breakout scan how to use it if you have any more questions you can always ask there is no price for asking questions